Hi all, it's Barb coming to my craft studio. Today I was going to show you the area that's kind of in front of my desk. My desk is just behind here. Um, that has basically my catalog stuff and my printer. I'll start with the stuff that's on top. This is, it's a 2x4 Calyx on casters. Um, Ikea doesn't sell those casters anymore, but I'm sure you might be able to find something either on Amazon or at like a hardware store that would work. Back here I keep my diamond press. Um, Slimline dies are in that KD bag. That bag there has my Spectrum Noir. It's a Sara bag. It has my um, tribal ends in it. I only own two that I got free with orders. This is, I don't think Tiffany sells this anymore. It was called a pencil perch. I have a couple of them. I've only got one in use right now. It um, holds my colored pencils. This is a Barbara bag with my Sharpies in it. I want to say this is Deborah. Yeah, it's Deborah. It's got brush markers in it, that Deborah bag. This is a Sue bag with more brush markers. They wouldn't fit in that one, they were too tall. And then this is an older style pen and ink palace in the metal. It used to come with the companion cart when it was this one. Um, and I painted it purple. Oh, that one did not come with the companion part the card. That one was sold separately. There were two other ones that were in metal that were with the companion card. This one has some Stampin' Up! Mark, brush marker type ones. I think, yeah, what did they call them? Stampabilities. I don't think they make this one anymore. I do think they've come out with a new version. I see my lid's not on there very well. These um, wooden units. My father-in-law made them for me many years ago. Um, that one holds my extra Stampin' Up! and some other, and my Adirondack inks and a few other ones that I just have one or two of. I've got a couple binders there that have um, different information in them. Um, and then this one my father-in-law also made me that I painted purple and it has my Delusions paints my Distress inks that I have in regular size. I ought to see if my sister wants those because I have them all in mini, so I really don't need them. And then some texture paste and oh, more, basically different texture things. That's texture look. Sorry, my, my cord from my um, <laughs> microphone keeps dropping in front of there. And then at the very end, I have my Canon it's a craft printer. I'm trying. I'm just trying to see if it has the number on it. It's a Pixma. I think it's like a 9521C, but I'm not positive on those numbers. But it can do up to 12 by 12. And then I have 12 by 12 cardstock here, regular cardstock, and regular ink paper. That's an Alex unit drawer unit from IKEA. It's one that comes on wheels. It's got. Um, the top drawer has legal and 28 pound letter size paper. The second one has labels. The next drawer has photo paper and other special printable materials. Then there's different card stock in the fourth drawer. The fifth drawer has stationery and sc like scrapbook size, 12 by 12 size sheet protectors. And the bottom one has other size sheet protectors in it. So that's my printing area and then this calyx unit the well the very first thing in it is my color catalog and then these items here the are the flip and storage binder that one happens to be empty but it still has the name on it the other ones have all my embossing folders in them um except for ones that are very theme specific like if they're definitely christmas they're in christmas birthday ones are in birthday these are more your generic backgrounds, florals, and shapes, and that type of thing that I would use pretty much on any themed project. So, and then I have my um, Totally Tiffany rotating design boards, two of them there. I think those are both the 12 by 12 one. These are Totally Tiffany stamp bags. Most of them are the double-sided, but there are a few that are just a single bag. They have my stamps in them. Now, I do kind of break with Tiffany a little here. At first I had them all mixed together and I found 
that I liked being able to just grab the one that has like my Christmas stamps in it. Like that one has Christmas in it. That one's got Valentine's in it. This one has words and letters in it. So I kind of used washi tape to label the sides and I did a little, used my P-Touch to create a little label like that it has a little cat and it says two. So any stamp in that bag has that number on it that is on the outside of the bag. Each tray is numbered, I should say, because the double-sided ones, I numbered each tray. So it'd be one, one and two in a double-sided bag. And my catalog has that number referenced on it so I can find it easily. The bottom one, that's the Totally Tiffany die file. I keep basically basic shaped dies there or ones that are just too large to fit anywhere else. Um, a lot of the nesting dies are there. And then I always forget what's in this one. I need to label it. Oh, it's just, it, it's because I just recently made it. It's got like watercolor paper and that type of thing, stuff in it. The next three have punch bags in them. All my punches are there. And I kind of group them by type. Like one of them is um, different type. Like there's lockdown punches. But that kind of worked because they were sized. Like this one has a lot of the really big Martha Stewart ones in it. Actually, I think these are all the, I um, can't remember what they were called. I think they were like frame punches. They all use the same base and then you can interchange the style in it. This is extra pockets and sleeve, tube sleeves for the vinyl roll organizers. This one here has some straws in it and then there's some it's craft paper roll and I think this might be a, um, a, a waterproof paper so it's like for alcohol inks I think. My Stampin' Up! daubers are there. I have one for each color that I have of Stampin' Up! and they're numbered the same as my ink pads. And then there's more punches there. So that this is kind of my where I keep all of my catalog stuff. That even works for the colored stuff because the colored stuff is cataloged as well. And I kind of reference what and what or where it is. That's kind of that area. I still want to show you sometime in my closet, but I think I'm going to end this one here. So this is kind of where I keep all this stuff is cataloged into my scrap rack. So it's kind of a tight area, but it, it works for me. Oh, I should show you what's back here. I kind of forgot about this. This Calyx unit, I have stuff on both sides. Can I get that down there? There. Like here, I keep my wand scanner. The other stuff kind of faces the other way, and I'll show you that when I do my main desk area. But that one has my wand scanner in it. Pretty sure that's what's in there. It's in a uh, Merle bag because it's got the ear flaps, but it could go in an Edna as well. My Cricut cartridges are here. I face this one just because it was hard to get on the other side because of the shelving that's there. Here I have extra pockets for my Katie and Kirsten bags and the magnets that work with that. This size side, there's fab files here. Um, the first one has five by seven file folders that can be used in the fab file or the Karen bag, anything that'll hold five by seven. That's got the five by seven magnets in it. And that one has, I think the five by seven pockets. It might also have the sticky die cards in that one. I know, I'm pretty sure it's that one that those are in. But that's kind of what I keep that I get at this side. Because this is stuff I don't need as often. So it doesn't matter that my printer is kind of blocking it. Because I don't get in there all the time. I also keep my um, little blue basket. My ink for this. 